Hi, this is Matthew Singh from Obsidian Entertainment, and I'm excited to announce that we've partnered with Virtuous to bring the Outer Worlds to the Nintendo Switch. The Just when you think things can't get any better for the Switch, we get an announcement from Obsidian, directly through Nintendo, that the Outer Worlds is coming to the Switch. It is remarkable how, in just a little over two years, Nintendo's mighty little portable console has amassed such an amazing library of both first-party and third-party games. Even six months ago, most wouldn't have believed we'd be getting games like The Witcher 3 and The Outer Worlds coming to the Switch. Even CRPGs like Pillars of Eternity are coming, along with Japanese games like Dragon Quest XI, not to mention the incredible support of Bethesda. The Outer Worlds is an Unreal Engine 4 game, and it stands to be a decent port, in my opinion. If The Witcher 3 can be run at 540p in portable mode, then we should be looking at a resolution similar, or at least a little higher, for The Outer Worlds, with 720p for docked play. A company called Virtuous is doing the port, and they do have Switch experience, porting Dark Souls, Starlink, Battle for Atlas, and L.A. Noire, all of which were very solid, if not very good, ports for the Switch. Panic Button gets all of the attention for their numerous impressive Switch ports, but there are several other studios out there that have done a commendable job on Switch games, and Virtuous is definitely one of them. Now, we haven't seen what the game will look or perform like, but I have to think that it is going to be a good experience, otherwise it isn't really worth the effort. Obsidian now has Microsoft's financial backing, so I am confident that they will ensure, along with Virtuous, that this is a solid port for people who are interested in playing the Outer Worlds on the go. We still don't yet know exactly when the Switch version will release, but it appears confirmed on Nintendo's own website that it is still coming in 2019. We know it won't make the same release date as the other console and PC ports, but if the wait is only an additional month or two, then that is not bad at all. As it stands, The Outer Worlds is my most anticipated new game of 2019. I now have to decide if I want to wait for the Switch version, as I had been planning on playing it on PC. But an Obsidian RPG like this just begs to be played on a portable, and I know that I would be able to spend far more time with the game on the Switch versus on my PC. In a perfect world, there would be cross-save, allowing us to use the same file across multiple platforms like Bethesda is going to do with the Switch version of the Elder Scrolls Blades. You'll be able to maintain the same save file on your phone as well as on your Switch, and I'd love to see this feature extended to more games. Anyway, this is more great news for Switch owners and people wanting to play RPGs on the go. The continued Western support of the Switch is still surprising to me, but then again Nintendo did also announce today that the Switch has sold over 36 million consoles in two years. The Switch will pass the Xbox One in lifetime sales later this year, when the Switch Lite, Zelda, Pokemon, and all of these other big name third party games release as well. It's crazy to think about what a turnaround it has been for Nintendo since 2017. Personally, I can't wait to play the Outer Worlds on the Switch. What are your thoughts? Will you wait to play it on the Switch, or are you getting the PC or other console version of the game? Let's discuss in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Maybe click that bell icon. And as always, thank you so much for watching.